What's up, folks? It's your boy Bob Hollywood back with another exciting review. Today's review is going to be a retro review. It's going to be of a figure that I am super stoked to finally have in my collection. It's going to be of this Danger Girl Major Maxim figure. This guy is a beast. Um, as you've seen with a few figures already this month, I think like two or three figures this month, this is the third figure that I have re that I'm reviewing for this month that I got from the Maryland Toy Expo in June. Yeah, I got this guy at a fair price. He's not, he's not super expensive. I think I paid the twenty dollars for him. He's not super expensive online, but he comes with these accessories. Initially, I didn't want the accessories. I didn't even know about him. I just wanted the figure, maybe the gun. But then I kept on saying the accessories, and I was like, well, let me go ahead and get him. But because I knew the Toy Expo was coming up. I was like, let me see if I can find them. And this and the Voldemort were two things on my wish list that I found. Nothing else that I bought. Everything else is like kind of impulsive. I'll lower the camera a little bit. Everything else is a little impulsive, but him and Voldemort are actually on the wish list. And again, with this being a retro review, he's just going to be on the standard bubble. Let's see the figure fully on the back. We got a little bit of cross promotion. We see Natalia Castle, Sydney Savage, and Abby Chase. Um, very limited articulation on those guys, but you know I've seen people do things with their, their diorama pieces. Uh, I actually saw I don't remember. I think I might have seen all three of them when I was on vacation in June, but I didn't like the price, so I didn't get them. And he has a bio. I'm not going to read that entire bio, but I will let you read it. If you'd like to pause, also there, you can see this came out in 1999, so well beyond the threshold of our uh, retro review, and there's a barcode for you, and this is a McFarlane Toys, I did not say that, I'm not even sure if I knew that before just now, but anyway folks, I'm going to bust them out of this plastic prison, BRB. All right, folks, that took me a little bit of time because I had to set up his stand and whatnot. You see, he comes with quite a few accessories. I've lost count at this point, but there's this gun, and he comes with two clips. It's a rather large gun. We're going to see how it fits in his hand once we go over the stand and everything. I struggled getting these pieces in just because they're harder plastic. Everything is a little bit harder. I didn't want to break anything. Cool thing about this gun, though, is this piece moves. It doesn't go forward, but it does do that. I don't know if it's intentional, but mine does move. I'm not going to worry about it. That rotates. The barrel rotates. That is cool as hell. I'm just now realizing that. It's a huge gun. It's not going to fit in a standard 6-inch figure's hand, but well, I'm assuming it'll fit in his hand, and we'll check that in a minute. But it's just all black pieces of plastic. No washing. Oh, I'll take that back. The handle looks leather. The handle is shinier to look like leather. I set that down. And again, you see he is on his stand there. I had to put these lights on there. I had to add this flag unfolded and add in the back. His feet are on the pegs. That was a little bit harder to do. I'm going to move him to the side real quick, and let's just look at the stand. You see it says his name there, Major Maxim. It's given very strong Yahtzee vibes. Um, you can put together what that means. I have a little thread here that's loose. That's, that's unfortunate. And you can see it's still just wrinkled for being folded in the, in the package. So that is cool. Let's take a look at these pieces of flame. They make they do a good job making it almost look like translucent plastic with a light inside, the way they did the paint. This looks really good. They, they, they did a good job. And these two pieces of plastic aren't identical. As you can see, one is shorter than the other. So... Yeah, that was a little bit wasteful on Todd's part, but they look good. They look like real flames. And then move that off to the side. 
The only other accessories he has is his hat. That comes off. And then this might come out of his back. I'm not sure if it's supposed to, but I have seen it loose. I'm not going to bother it. It looks like it's supposed to be on there. You can see the tape mark from the hat. It was taped in the packaging. And it just goes on his head. doesn't clip or anything. If you tilt it, it'll come off. Before we go into his, the rest of the figure, I just want to see if he'll hold his gun. He has a huge hand. He can hold his gun. It's a huge gun. He doesn't have any elbow articulation, so he can't aim straight without looking awkward. But this is a huge freaking gun, though. Like, it really is. Again, I don't think I have any other figures that can hold that. I might. But let's take a look at him, man. This overcoat, this piece here is obviously softer plastic. Feels like doesn't feel like leather, but it does a good job of emulating leather. And even this part up here is softer. Shoulders harder, arms and stuff harder. He's got like some sort of stuff in it. I didn't read the bio myself, so I don't know the significance of that. You can see where the tape was attached to keep that hat in place. Really small head on this gigantic body. Huge boots. This is just a menacing looking feller. His articulation is going to be very minuscule. I know that much. And this belt feels like leather. I mean, it's a softer plastic just like this. And then the, the sculpt is amazing. It's just obviously the articulation is very minimal. But he looks like a Yahtzee, a giant Yahtzee soldier and, and a trench coat. Gives me Mr. X vibes. Gives me, uh, what's that guy? Hellboy vibes. Let's go over his articulation. This is, this should be quick. Um, his head should rotate 360. It's giving me resistance, so I'm not going to fight it. Shoulders rotate, no problem. Well, arms rotate, rather, at the shoulder, no problem. No, no T-joint, no butterfly joints, none of that. His hands, not even full rotation because of the sculpt on either hand. That's all you get. Mm, I was almost about to say nothing at the waist, but he does rotate 360 at the waist. That's cool. His leg articulation is there, but this doesn't allow for any other movement and I'm trying to see if I care if this plastic is oh actually actually it looks like it's hmm, I'm not gonna bring this apart I'm not maybe if I get another one in the future that's something I can do to get better range of motion but he doesn't need to be spider-man so that's unfortunate. He's not going to give you much articulation, and there is nothing there. So for all intents and purposes, let's just say his feet go out forward, but we can't see how much. I'm sorry about that. I don't want to rip the, the leather. Easy on the leather. But look at the detail, man. The scratches in it. It just looks... Looks great. It looks like a jacket. It looks good. And you see like the stitching on his gloves. They could have just been like, oh, just throw some black on it. But Todd doesn't do anything the easy way. You can see the the extra material for his boots coming down. Yeah, it's a big boy, man. Matter of fact, I'm about to see just how big he is. We're going to see if he wipes out. Oh, he is at... Just under seven and a half. Just under seven and a half. Woo, it's a, this is a giant guy, man. This guy is on his high school basketball team, I guarantee it. And we're just going to knock it out. Is, is he going to be taller than everybody in the review? I know he's taller than Roadblock. 
He makes Roblox look weak, man. Roblox was used to being the best, the biggest guy on the court. He rose up to this guy at school. He's like, man, I got to pay that big ass center. And he is also dwarfing Titus. So, yeah, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's taller than everybody in the review crew. Winston and John Jones making them look small. To be fair, Winston is one of the smaller members of the review crew. Lando and Lucio. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's a, he's a big boy. Everybody, everybody, that big boy. And then Devin and Eric Killmonger. And finally. Finally, we get the ladies in there. He's taller than Vi and Andre. I almost said Vixen. He's taller than both of them, Andre and Vixen. Yeah, it's a big boy. I wish his articulation was a little bit better, but he looks great. I'm still happy to have him in my collection. I'm happy that I got to review him, and I'm happy that you stopped by to see me do the review. I appreciate every time you do that. I appreciate every time you hit the like button. And you guys subscribe to my channels and come back. I, I really do. It means a lot. I'm just a guy having fun. Living his life. This is one aspect of my hobby. I love toys. I assume you do as well. I try to review a wide range of things. I try to review what I want to review. Um, I'm never going to be the biggest YouTube, the biggest toy YouTube reviewer or YouTuber. And that's fine. I don't want to be. I just want to have fun. I enjoy action figures. I enjoy toys. And I enjoy sharing that with you. Action figures speak louder than words.